everyone today I'm going to be showing you how to play farming simulator on Ubuntu or any other, other Linux distro and if I go here you can tell that I am using Ubuntu if you want to learn how to do this continue watching this video let's get into it hey everyone welcome back to Stephen A videos and I hope you guys enjoy this video so today like you may have seen from the first beginning of the video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Farming Simulator 22 working uh, on Ubuntu. And you will also get updates with this because I got updated to patch, what was it, like 8.1.0. So you will also get updates and it will check for updates. Um, you can also download stuff from the in-game mod hub too. So I am going to show you what version of Ubuntu I am using. You go to about and let me see, where is it? I'm pretty sure it'll tell you. Yeah, I am using Ubuntu 20.04.5 LTS and I f there's like different names. I think it's Floch, Flochish, something like that. I don't remember. Anyways, there's two things we're going to need. Actually three. We're going to need wine. Lutris and Farming Simulator 22. So let's go to the web. I'll have um, all the stuff linked down below that you will need. So we're going to go to uh, Wine HQ. Um, I will have it linked to this page, but when you first go here, let me go Wine HQ. Select the top one that says uh, WineHQ.org. Then you go here to downloads, and then you select Ubuntu, and there you are. All right, so I'm just going to close this down because we don't need this one. Okay, so if your system is a 64-bit, enable the 32-bit architecture. I believe I read that right, or pronounced it right, possibly, if you haven't already. So I don't know if mine is. Um... So on Ubuntu, you hit Control Alt T, and that will bring up Terminal. So we're just going to copy this, and then to paste, you have to hit Control Shift V, and now you paste Enter. Type in your password, and now we can go down here, add the repositories. Retard. Ah, I ain't gonna try to re-pronounce it because I'll butcher it up even more. Man, oh, I cut off the S to sudo. Sudo in Ubuntu is God mode, basically. You turn God mode on so you can do whatever you want. All right, so select your version. I have Ubuntu 20.4 Flocus, Focus. I don't know how you pronounce it, F-O-C-A-L. So we are going to copy this one right here. And then I'll paste that in there. Right. Update the package information. Um. So now we're going to type sudo apt update and fetching. One package can be upgraded. Run apt list upgrade to see it. So if we do. Never done this part before. APT list upgrade A B L E listing done. So it doesn't actually tell me. Okay. So you have three options. You can have a stable branch, a development branch, and a stagging branch. I think I read that right. We are going to go with stable because you don't really want problems. So let's paste this in. Basically, Wine lets you use, it basically lets you run Windows stuff on Ubuntu. It creates little uh, Windows directories just for that op uh, software.
This will depend on how fast your internet is. Currently I am wired up, so it's a little bit faster than wireless. You can attempt to install. You can actually install no problems um, with uh, Wine. You can install FS22, no problems. But you will get a graphics error. Um, that's what Lutris is for. You run it with Lutris and you don't get that graphics error. So now we have uh, Wine installed. You can read down here if you'd like. Um, and learn some other stuff. So, um, somewhere in here it tells you like a command you can put in. It tells you uh, what version you're running and all this stuff. Um, <clears throat> now we're going to go to Wine, or yeah, Lutris, and we're going to type clear into the terminal to clean it all up. Now, when you first come here, I'm going to show you. So, loot. How you spell it? Fris. You're going to go to download. I believe over here it'll tell you all the games it works with, but don't worry, find me somebody that works. And that's where you go to the download page. And now you just scroll down here until you see you bundle. And it says a Debian package is available for the release uh, page on GitHub. So you're going to need to install this as a Debian. So I'm trying to think, I think you want to do sudo apt install, um, what is it, debian, debi, debi, right? No. It's, let's try. There we go. Now you hit yes for this to install. Um, let's close this down, we don't need it. Basically, this makes it so you can uh, install Debian files. So now we can go to the GitHub page. So this is the latest beta version, but we want stable. So we are going to go down to the latest one that does not say beta, and it also is latest, and it doesn't say pre-release. And we're going to go and we're going to download the one that says Lutris, the version, all deb, all, and it says dot deb. So we're going to click that, installed it. It's going to go into your install folder. Now, um, I've made a shortcut key for me to open up my file uh, window. Because I'm a Windows user, I made the shortcut to Windows key E. If you ever want to see that in the future, comment down below. It's really simple. Um, we're going to go to download, right click, and we're going to open with other application, the software installer does not work so you need to install the GWN package installer and uh, we're going to select that one and we're going to install it type in your password Okay, install finished. Or actually, it says installation finished. Okay. Really? What? Well, we're just going to leave that up because apparently, well, let me close out a bit. Okay. So, Lutra should be installed right now. So, as far as I know, we should not need this terminal anymore. So, type exit. We go into these three little dots. Now, when you first installed Ubuntu, it might be on the side here, this little panel. I moved it down to the bottom. But anyway, somewhere in here, there should be Lutris. Correct. Here it is, Lutris. Okay, so let me go get my manual so I know where to go. Okay, so I have bought this um, as a disc. So when you buy it with a disc, you get a manual, and it also 
gives you this URL or link actually on the back of your manual that uh, tells you where to go in case you want to do the online download. So we're going to do that. It is eShop. eShop. Dot giant software. Dot giant software. Dot com. Okay, so now you're gonna need your product code handy, so uh, why don't you type that in? Okay, so once you're here, uh, it will show you everything you own under that product key. And we want to download uh, Farming Simulator for Windows. So you can also get it for like, Mac, but we're going to be doing Windows. So let's download this. Again, this will depend on how fast your internet is. Um, must be having a good day because it's going to take 14 minutes and I'll get back to you later on okay so it is done installing so let me minimize this and we are going to open our downloads and here it is so we're going to double click it it's going to mount a like a drive to here and then we're going to run the setup there it goes wild okay um that could be because we wanted to open with a, another application we could do it with the windows loader i think how do we do this I'm trying to think let's try lutris if that don't work i believe we want to do it with lutris and it will also work with uh, better stuff oh Bluetooth is already open no wonder it wasn't showing up <laughs> okay so let's go scan for games install a Windows game from media try that game name farming simulator um point setup file install select installation directory installation directory I assume this is where it's installing it to All right, so create an application menu shortcut. We're gonna create two of these. Um, I don't think desktop shortcuts really work that well, so. Now it is going to download Farming Simulator, correct? I believe so. Might have to do some stuff. I don't exactly re remember a whole lot, so. Let's see. We lock Lutris up. Nope. Okay. Select the setup file. So we're going to go browse and we're going to go here and we're going to select the setup.exe and hit OK. Alright, so it's opening. It's using wine. So kind of simple. Just let it do its thing depends on your computer and stuff 
how long it's going to take. So just let it do its thing, give it a little bit. All right, so it's going to open up the install. It's going to look a little bit different than what it kind of did in Windows. So just select, uh, you can customize stuff, but I recommend just leaving it alone. So it's going to extract files and just install normally. Um, once this is done, it might still do some stuff with Lutris, this little guy right here, but uh, shouldn't do too much, shouldn't require too much from you. Yeah, I don't think it's going to ask you any other questions. And I will get back to you once this is done installing. Okay, so once done uh, installing, you click finish. It's going to do some stuff still with Lutris. All right, as you notice up here in the Lutris menu, uh, we now have FS22 up here. It says installing FS22, installation complete. So we're going to close it. Um, you can eject this now if you want. So we're going to eject it. Close down this. Now, uh, get your farming simulator product key handy because you're going to need that. So let's launch this. Double clicking also works, so you can double click up here. So I'm going to type in my product key real quick. So. Now click activate. It might take some time. Um, it took a little bit for my last time I activated it. So. I'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay, so it's uh, finally checking some stuff out. And sometimes I've had it where it locks up here. So um, if it doesn't work in a few minutes, close this down. Sometimes it'll close down. Sometimes it's just going to be like, no. Um, let me hit cancel, see if that does anything. Don't seem to be doing anything. Um, give me a little bit. All right, so now it's actually generating some stuff. So um, I'm actually surprised the last time it generated one to generate free stuff, generate a list, and all this dumb stuff. So. So yeah, last time it wanted to go through generating a list of stuff it needs deleted and all this dumb stuff, and it didn't do that this time. So, anyways, you guys have just found out how, or just learned how to play Farming Simulator 22 on Ubuntu or any Linux distro that you can use uh, Wine and Lutris. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, share this video with someone that's been having problems with this or wants to move over to Ubuntu, but his games uh, is stopping him. And go check out some of my other content. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till then, stay safe, respect the modders, gaming and crime. See ya.